What's good team exclusive and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today is day number 12, I do believe, uh, 22nd of December and today is a very interesting day. Today is a special day because we have a striker who's French in the SBCs. Now, of course, as we know, EA shat the bed completely last night. They shat the bed and completely rolled all over in it uh, because uh, they released the five new um, freeze players into packs at, I think, about 3 a.m. Uh, UK time. So, yeah, we all know who they who they are. It's obviously CDM Chiellini. We've got uh, two strikers in the way of St. Maximin. And then, of course, we've got Usman Dembele, as well as um, Alex Moreno. Who's the other one? Uh, a centre-back, uh, Gorsens? Gorsens? The uh, Atalanta German winger, usually now a centre back. So yeah, EA completely shut the bed, completely. And uh, as we know, they're not going to be in any of the SPCs. So who's the French striker? Is it going to be Zuma? Is it going to be Laporte? Moussa Sissoko in Dombele. Let's find out. Who's it going to be? It's going to be. Ooh. Ow. Ow. Very interesting. Very interesting. Not what I expected. I was hoping for a Zuma, just because it'd be nice to see a Chelsea uh, special card for once, which I think they, you know, are deserving of. But, see, the thing about this one is, what I find interesting about it is, um, obviously he's a striker. Now, his centre mid card uh, would have better defending and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I get that. But you could just put this card down to CM. Cam, CM. CDM if you wanted to be that reckless, uh, but you could literally just position change this card down to where, where he normally plays. So that's why I think I was hoping for a, a centre-back striker because you couldn't then just, you know, you could play them at um, CDM and all that kind of stuff, but it would be, it'd be a lot worse than it normally would be. So, you know, I, I'm not overly disappointed. I guess it's a nice looking card. Um, it reminds me a lot of like Depay where they haven't got like, the greatest pace, but they've got like good shooting, uh, good passing, well, okay passing and, and all that kind of stuff. So, four star, four star, high medium, five foot nine, very nice looking card. Um, I mean, his pace is actually alright. 87 isn't bad at all. Obviously, with the chemistry style, Hunter, whatever, would uh, obviously boost it up quite nicely. It's got 89, 85. Shooting's very, very nice. Shot power's good, long shot's really good. Finishing's very good. Uh, positioning's very good. Passing is excellent. Dribbling's excellent as well. Uh, good composure. Defending, obviously, probably been downgraded quite a lot, but still not terrible. Good heading accuracy. Jumping's pretty poor, but besides that, his physicals are, are fairly nice. Very um, very even. 74, 74, and 84 stamina. So, it's a good card. And he's got the finesse trait, flare trait, and outside the foot shot trait. So, very nice, very nice stuff as well. And obviously, another uh, Ligue 1 French striker to get your strong links to Mbappe or Ben Yedda. So, of which I don't have. But anyway, let's see how expensive or not he is. 85. 85 for a strength, uh, a striker, Awa, 85 rated. It's not terrible, I guess. That's not terrible. I think, well, that's about 100, 100, 120K, that kind of mark between there. So, I actually don't think that's too terrible. I think that's all right, to be fair, for, uh, for an Awa striker. Like I said, of course, you could just put him down to Cam and he'd be very nice. Um, but I do want to see what kind of um, upgrade or downgrade he's had since his position change. But that's uh, it's a good looking card. Actually, it's not it's not terribly priced for just a standard 85. I think that's probably going to be about... What was this one? This was an 85 as well. So I think he was 140k, yeah. So it's about 100k in total. Give or take a few few little bits here or there. But yeah, it's not, it's not awful to be fair. The, the problem is he's... Um, Obviously, Ligon, a French striker, he's overshadowed by quite a lot. I mean, you could probably just pick up Ben Yedda and he'd be equally as good. Um, and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm not really too sure the point of that. I, like I said, I was hoping for a Premier League, like Zuma, that kind of stuff. Uh, make it a little bit more interesting, a bit, bit more different. But they've chosen Awa and, uh, yeah, that is what it is. So, not terrible. Not terrible. Let's see what else we've got in the way of SBCs. If anything... Anything uh, else? We've got the Freeze Challenge, Rare Electrum Players Pack, which is tradable, which is very nice. You do love to see that. Uh, of course, we've got the loan, which I always recommend. Uh, I will always recommend the loans just because 
friendly purposes if they require like you know the next icon swaps uh first owner league gun teams first owner premier league teams you've got a dump um so yeah get the loans while you can they're never too expensive they're usually just silver squads a few golds here and there minimum silver one gold one french very very easy um actually, i actually wonder if i can do that now to be fair do i have 45 chemistry uh actually i wonder if i can do that now we'll have a quick look see if i can quite a lot of um silvers so stick in uh where is he french well, he's not french but he's league un we've got two dutch there as well actually that might work a little bit better let's put those in center mids uh smeets he is amazing i'm not gonna get rid of smeets uh legendary player Um, and right forward, obviously, we don't have any. That might be a good position to put uh, a gold in fairness. Let's have a look at uh, Striker. Didn't have a French player, so we'll put in him and see if I've got any kind of French golds to stick alongside him. Um, gold, French. So, I don't, but we don't need that much chemistry, so I don't think it will matter too much. Uh, I'll stick the right back. And we'll go with the goalkeeper. And that should be a okay. Goalkeepers are very, very cheap. So I don't really mind that too much. That's nowhere near enough chemistry. Uh, we'll just get a Sanson. And that'll do. It's a little bit, you know, you don't really need that. But there we go. So there's that complete. Um, yeah, like I say, never never follow what I do. Because it's always it's always a bit pointless. But there we go. Not Like rare goals, like Sanson, he's not worth anything more than probably his discard. And then we get ourselves a free... Uh, a free... Well, essentially a free um three game loan hour very nice very very nice and uh i think that was probably pretty much it for today unless i've missed anything still got the erling harland again a very looking very good looking card um but freeze challenge what do you have to do to complete this so five res uh players from the same nation maximum four players from one club minimum three so you have to have players from one club of three of them, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, four leagues minimum and 77 chemistry. So as per for the 12th time in a row, uh, we're going to go away, complete this, and I'll be back to show you what I built in uh, two seconds. Jesus Christ, okay. Um, I don't know why I struggled with this so much. I, I'm really lacking with the players uh, in my club. So uh, yeah, it was difficult. I don't know, a lot of players are just really expensive for no reason. For no reason at all, like, um, where is he? Raul Albiol, he's like, I think he was like, what, over, he was well over 3k when I checked. He isn't even on the market anymore, apparently. But, uh, yeah, he was, uh, mad expensive. Mad, maybe that was a glitch in the game, I, I really don't know. But, uh, yeah, a lot of players are just crazy, crazy expensive. But, here's how I've done it, here's my squad, just loads of strong links at the back. I've got, uh, Real Sociedad, uh, three players there with, um, Nacho, Mon Nacho Monreal. We've got uh, this guy and Alex Ramiro, Ramiro, and then the rest are just strong links with uh, English. Then we've got um, Ligon at the top, linking with uh, Draxler to Denver Bay with the Germans, getting our four leagues, and there we are. So, yeah, at least props to EA. At least this pack is tradable, I guess, which is on the plus side. Um, no doubt we'll probably get something quite garbage out of it, but uh, I want to see if there's any new... Any new leagues put in today? Anything new? No, we haven't. They've just been, the old ones have just expired and nothing new has come in to replace them, which is fantastic. You do love to see it. Any new icons today? Any new icons? No, the old ones have expired and these ones are going to expire and there's nothing, nothing new. I do hope EA haven't forgotten. I do hope they haven't forgotten about those. Before we open our, our pack, we are gonna have a look at the objectives as per. Got a freeze capper. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I actually quite like that card. That's actually a really nice looking card. Freeze capper. 85 rated. 86 pace. 81 dribbling. 74 shooting. 81 defending. 82 passing. And 89 physicals. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Wow. I mean, that's one hell of a card. A lot, a lot of cards I see nowadays, you don't really see their stats represent like their rating. But I mean, for an 85, that's uh, that's one hell of a card. 
you have to score at least two goals in one match using midfielders in, La in the Life at Friendly's managerial masterpiece with at least eight La Liga players. That's pretty simple. Kappa creates, uh, assist eight goals with through balls in the foot friendlies mode, scoring 12 separate matches in the foot friendlies mode uh, with uh, using La League players. Yeah, and assist three in separate matches, in three assist in three separate matches using Spanish players. Uh, not very difficult and win six. So actually not very difficult, difficult at all. Um, and that's a good looking card. That's a very good looking card. Of course, still got the freeze of Holland, uh, but yeah, wow, I actually can't complain about that at all. There's not, there's not really much I can say about it. It's a very good looking La Liga CDM, even though there is plentiful amounts of those. Um, it, you know, it's good to see. It's really good to see. And I believe that's pretty much everything in the way of objectives. Let's have a quick look. I know we've got the silver stars there again, uh, or which is still there uh, for another 23 hours. And then foundations, still got the silver sensation, and that's that. So, how's our teams doing? AC Milan still winning by, yeah, almost double. Still haven't contributed, as per. Cool. Okay, so, obviously, uh, we have the new... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, they're really going ham with the, uh, the old promo packs. Jesus Christ. Um, you know, it would almost imply that, like, they've added some new cards into the game. <laughs> But the problem I've got is they've added only five. I do want to see if they'll pop up. There we go. So there's there's the five freeze players as you can see behind me. As we already knew because EA shut the bed and uh, released them, what, was 24 hours early? Crazy. Crazy. Anyway, or it was, it was a good few hours early anyway. But uh, see what we get out of this one. If we can pack a freeze player, that'd be pretty sick. But chances are we won't because there's only five. But who knows? Walk out. Nope. No boards, brilliant. And here we are. So uh, let's have a look at, so obviously the, the thing, I, I wanna point these out quickly as well, because um, obviously Chiellini is a nice position change up to CDM. Um, it's actually quite a fun looking card. We've obviously got Gorson's Alex Moreno. There's no, um... oh, there we go. Okay, right, we'll have a look at those in a second. But uh, so first of all, Giorgio Chiellini, um, he's had a, oh, wow, he's had a pretty massive boost, to be fair, for only a plus two, and he's coming currently in at 250-odd uh, thousand coins. It's very skewed across the platforms, but um, yeah, he'll probably, he'll probably sell, I can't, I can't see him being over 150k, in my personal humble opinion, um, but yeah, for an, a plus two overall rating, he's had a massive upgrade, so he's had uh, minus two on defending, plus six on physicals, plus 12 on dribbling, 18 passing, 19 shooting, and 14 pace. Massive, massive, massive upgrade. And of course, centre back CDM. Um, he's a very good looking CDM as well. Stamina is good, strength is good, defending is very nice. Dribbling is okay. Balance and agility is a bit is a bit off, but it's not too bad. Um, passing is very nice. Shootable well, shot power and long shots is actually quite good, whereas his finishing itself is pretty poor. And pace is nice for once. Pace is very nice. Um, can't argue with that at all. Like I said, I think his price will come down quite a bit uh, once people start packing him, um, you know, in packs. Anyway, Gorsons. Now, not something I'm really too interested in. I can't see him being over 100k. It just doesn't seem seem like it, but he is currently 140. He's had a plus three, obviously a position change from left mid to centre back. He's had uh, minus four in shooting, plus four in passing. Four dribbling, six defending, and four physical. So actually a very, very nice boost as well. No boost on pace, um, which for a centre-back, 83 pace is very, very nice. Like I said, good pace. Shooting's actually not bad. Passing's okay. It's actually quite good. It's not, not terrible. It's not great either. Uh, dribbling's okay. Balance and agility is a bit low again. Composure's a bit low, but hopefully you won't be in any proper shooting positions with this card. Um, unless you bring them, bring them on as like a striker sub, perhaps. But uh, defending is uh, excellent as per, and physical is a very, very nice jumping stamina. Very, very good. Strength is good as well. So for a centre back, three star, three star is actually it's actually a decent, decent little German centre back, and uh, he probably will be a lot cheaper than what he is currently. Obviously, first day in packs, he's obviously going to be quite, quite inflated. Um, but yeah, he, he, I can see him probably being one of the cheaper ones because he'd probably be packed quite a lot, but he's a he's a nice looking card. 
nice looking card. Uh, next one we've got Alex Moreno, which one is um, which is the one I'm very interested in because uh, I do need a La Liga Spanish right back, preferably, and he fits the bill because there isn't many of them. They're in short supply. Of course, you've got uh, Carver Hal, but he's a bit slow. Um, Kappa, I don't know, is Kappa quite quick? I've never really delved into the right backs, but uh, yeah, there's not many apparently. 65,000 coins currently, and probably will just go down from there for the week that he's in packs. Uh, 91 pace, 83 dribbling. It's, it's just a good looking card all round. He's had a plus seven overall. He's had a uh, plus two pace, plus five shooting, 10 passing, 14 physical, 12 defending, and six dribbling. Very good boost as well. Very, very nice boost. He's got three star, three star, medium high, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Um, La Liga right back, so excellent uh, pace. Shooting's actually alright, to be fair. Uh, passing's a bit lacking. You know, long passing, a bit terrible, but short passing is uh, it's pretty decent. Dribbling's very nice. Again, composure's pretty bad, but hopefully you won't be shooting with this card too much. Um, interceptions, defending, very, very nice. Um, and physicality is very nice with that 99 stamina. Strength is a bit low, but it is what it is. Again, you could always put like um, chemistry style, a chemistry style to boost that. Let's have a look. What boosts uh, Sentinel? Where are we? Hey, cheers. Um, where's the Sentinel? There we are. I can't believe I couldn't see that. But uh, yeah, so. So Sentinel, let's put that on him. And as you can see there, it boosts uh, it's jumping. Strength by 5, which is not great, um, but uh, aggression by 10, obviously defending very, very nice now. So he's actually got a very, very good looking card. Um, it's not a catalyst I really want, but that is quite nice. Really good passing, you know, top, top, top end pace. Not that you can really get much better than that, but uh, that's quite a nice boost as well. It's really looking for more, um, as you see, out of for the bants. So... It's not terrible as well. You could easily play him at like right mid, right wing with that kind of thing. And uh, he probably would do quite a, quite a nice job there. Not not too terrible at all. Now, these are the ones I find quite interesting in the way of St. Maximin. Obviously, 1.2 milli standard, you know, as per expected. But he's had a plus six from his base, plus three from his inform. And um, yeah, obviously, boost all around, 11 shooting, 14 physical, very, very nice. But uh, on his inform, he's had a downgrade of pace. So a downgrade of passing, a downgrade of dribbling, but a massive boost in physicality of plus 10 and obviously a boost in shooting as per being a striker. But he's had three stats downgraded, two of them upgraded and one of them kept the same. So I, I'm not sure. Obviously, I know it's to do with the position change, obviously, but like I just I just don't understand the whole like why was his pace downgraded? Um what else was is dribbling was as well i don't fully understand why that was taken down by two across the board and then passing taken down by one not that it makes much difference from 76 to 77 but like i just don't get it i just don't really understand the 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 logic behind why the stats were downgraded but uh either way five star four star low high attacking work rates he's going to be an absolute monster at striker he's uh Going to be running in behind, just scoring goals for fun. He's got 80 finishing, not ideal. But of course, like we said, as per chemistry trials, are there to help. So let's just stick. Am I blind? Why? How can I not see these? There we go. Okay, so he gets, uh, obviously, Hunter is, is pretty pointless, isn't it? It's pretty pointless. Um, is an artist? Nope. I'm looking for, there we go, finisher. Right, so insane dribbling, 93 dribbling. Actually, a Shooting, I mean, shooting is excellent with that kind of chemistry style, but I would like, um, is it Powerhouse? Architect, I don't remember which one it is. Sniper, nope. Deadeye, there we go. So Deadeye, now 89 shooting overall, 90 finishing, 99 shot power, 86 long shots, and 95 um, positioning. But his passing is actually not that great, to be fair. Now, even with the, with the boost, his short passing is quite good. So maybe like one twos are okay, but... Yeah, I mean, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Maybe a Hawk, perhaps. Get his pace up to maximum, shooting up to a very good standard, and his 
physicality is up to a very, very nice standard anyway. But his card overall, I mean, he's got good strength, good, uh, great stamina. You know, dribbling is, is top end. Passing is, is not terrible, to be fair, for a for a, for a Saint Maximin. And uh, shooting is actually quite nice for his base. So, um, you know, I think he's warranting that probably milli price tag, but it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And then Usman Dembele coming in at a whopping 1.7 milli, respectively. I do find it interesting they released two span uh, not Spanish, uh, two French strikers, you know, making it a bit boring. Uh, and then obviously the SBC being a, a, a Spanish, uh, not Spanish, being a, a, a French striker. Um, you know, obviously everyone expected Saint Maximin or Dembele to be that SBC player, but not to be. Anyway, he's had a plus three boost. So he's got a plus one pace, plus seven shooting, plus three defending, and plus 17 physical, which obviously makes him a very, very enticing card. Uh, again, he's had two stats kept the same. He's only had a plus one on, on pace and so not really that much noticeable difference. Uh, shooting plus seven, so very nice, very, very nice shooting now, actually. And then, um, yeah, passing kept the same, interesting. Um, dribbling kept the same. Interesting. Not that he needed a boost. It was excellent anyway. Um, yeah, defending plus three. And then physicals. Very, very nice. 1784. Um, it's a good looking card. It's a very good looking card. He definitely needed that stamina boost. I, I, that, I think that was one of the biggest problems with this card. Is his stamina. Um, but now he's got a, a huge boost. Insane. Five star, five star. Medium high, he he's again going to be a monster. If I ever see Saint Maximin and Dembele in the same team come up against me, I will just kill myself. It'll be much easier than uh, playing those two. But anyway, so we've got Kappa and Awa, our new objectives and SBC players. Um, let's have a look. So Kappa, obviously, he's got a plus four, very nice looking card. Plus three on pace, nine shooting, five passing, one physical. Uh, six defending and two dribbling. So, yeah, he's had a, he's had a pretty pretty big boost as well. Um, pace excellent for a CDM. It's you know that's exactly what you want. Shooting is not bad. Again, you could easily just put like uh, we'll just stick a finisher on, and that gets him actually very nice. Um, very nice shooting. That now he's got 80s across the board. So that's incredible. Uh, you can probably do which one is it? A dead eye. You could even do that, and that that gets him a really nice boost anyway. With his uh, passing, 99 short passing. Excellent, excellent stuff. Um, but yeah, so good passing anyway, respectively. Defending or dribbling is very nice. Defending is very nice. And strength and stamina and physical is very, very nice. So three star, three star, high, high. He's going to be quite a good box to box uh, midfielder. I'll uh, definitely be trying to get him. He looks very, very good. And then we've got Awa coming in at 130,000 coins. I, I think he's a little bit expensive. Again, I know I say that quite a lot, but I do think he is a little bit expensive just for what he is. You know, how many other um, league and strikers are there? There's there's a lot. There's a lot. And, you know, we'll have a look. So, obviously, similar is... Uh, this is what it suggests is similar. Not that I'm totally sure that's exactly the case, but we'll have a look at... Um, Quickly, we'll have a look at uh, league and strikers. So, strikers, nation, uh, we we'll want league, top five, league and. So, see who we've got for about 140,000 coins. Obviously, Kylian Mbappe is way too much, but we've got Memphis to Pi, 37 player moments. If you did do that, uh, very similar price and a very good looking card. You've got the uh, Mara Cardi. Who uh, is obviously 32,000 coins and a live item, so you could easily, you know, you could easily get an upgrade. Wisman Ben Yedder is a little bit more expensive, but I think a very similar card. Base to Pi. Um, we've got Ben Yedder for, you know, 8,000 coins. Look at his stats, though. So 84, 83, 87. Obviously, you know, his his stats aren't going to compare to this, but it's not, it's not too different. You've got um, Benedetto, Dembele. So overall, considering there's not a whole lot of that many options that I actually thought there was, I actually thought there's a lot, uh, a lot more options. But if you did do the uh, um, Nian SBC, who's only 50k, 84, and an incredible looking card as well. Um, but yeah, I, I just think, I just, I just think you're better off using somebody like Ben Yedder. 
you know, even if you don't have his inform, I think his base card is probably still going to be just as OP as, um, I do want to see his stats though, just as OP as um, our, so he's at 88 finishing, what was it, our, 89, he's got 87, yeah, which is very similar, it's not too different, passing, obviously better on our, dribbling, very, 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 very similar, and physicals uh, are very similar as well, obviously, uh, Awa probably taking that by a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think he's just better off probably, you know, just using Ben Yedda. I just think he's going to be, I don't know, just better for you all round because he, he's only eight thousand coins. He's tradable, you know, it is what it is. Um, I don't know. It's just a weird one, to be fair. It's just a weird one, especially as he's come from like a centre mid. Uh, he's only had a, a minus six on defending, which I thought was going to be. I thought it, he had a lot more on his on his centre mid card, but. He, uh, I just don't get it. I just don't get it because he's obviously a striker now. He was a CM prior. Obviously, he's got a really good boost. You know, 11 pace, 13 shooting. He's got five passing, four dribbling, seven physicals. Why not just take the striker and position change him back to centre mid? And you're going to have a, a, a plus five boosted hour with slightly, and we're only talking marginally. Let's have actually a quick look. So he's at minus six, but... Um, so he's had minus 10 defensive awareness, minus 10 standing tackle, minus 9 slide tackle. Um, he's had, what is that? So 80, he's had, uh, oh, he's had, he's had plus 21 heading accuracy and minus 10 interceptions. Um, it's quite a big downgrade considering he's only had a minus 6, but I, I don't, I just don't think it'll make much difference. Uh, yeah, just change this card back to CM and you've got yourself an incredible hour card. I just don't get the whole, like, you know, centre mid. Because this is the problem I've got, right? With the Liverpool centre mid coming in a few days, if it was somebody like Firmino, you could just change the centre mid to striker and have yourself an incredibly boosted um, Firmino. Obviously, you might have downgraded in stats and here or there, so you might want to play him at Cam or whatever, but... Um, or we might have a nice boosted card, so we could, you could easily play him at striker. I, I just don't get it. Like, if this was a centre-back like what people were suggesting with uh, um, Zuma, it would have been just it just been a bit more interesting. I don't know. But it is what it is. Obviously, people uh, think it's quite a good uh, quite a good card. Obviously, like we've, uh, like we've gone through, there isn't that many options. But I do think you're probably just better off using somebody like um, Ben Yedda. And if you do want to get this card, I think you probably play centre-mid or cam very very nicely for you so uh, it could be worth doing it's only 120 130,000 coins so it's not terrible value for an 86 card but i think i just think it's a little bit much still it's just a little bit much he's still got four star four star what are we medium high what are the people saying unexpected yeah everyone was expecting uh the tempelli looks different yeah everyone was expecting like a center back um yeah there there is a few comments about like uh, weak foot upgrade, is there really? Let's have a quick look. So, our... What's his base? Oh yeah, four star, he's had a plus four on his, uh, a plus one star on his, uh, his weak foot, which is very, very nice. Very nice. I, I think it's a fun card. I don't know. I think it's a fun card. It's not what I expected. Um, again, maybe, maybe I'm being, being a bit too cynical, being, uh, slightly overpriced, but I, I don't know, I don't think it's bad. It's coming down quite a lot as well, so 125... It could be worth doing. If you need a striker, he could be that guy. If you want to, to play him at cam or centre mid, he could be that guy. He's got a very nice boost. I can't argue with it at all. It's a nice card and it's fun, you know. Play him at striker, have some fun. You know, don't don't always consume to the meta. Go with this card and have some fun. Why not? So you're Mbappe and go with this card is what I'm saying. <laughs> but no, he does look quite good. So he looks fun uh, and I can't complain. But either way, there we go. So there is today's episode done um i do hope you enjoyed uh yeah like i said very nice looking card i can't argue with it at all it's nice to see ea giving players boost you know that maybe maybe our wasn't the most usable card i think we've seen it quite a lot with lala gaia that kind of stuff um you know just take some players that probably wouldn't be used in today's game just because of pace or physicals or passing reasons and just give them boosts change their position give them really nice big boosts and uh yeah just have some fun um so obviously if you did do the the kenny lala this guy would link perfectly to him get him um uh, a super hyper link 
French Liga and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, could be worth doing. Could be worth doing. And, and actually, considering he's only 120,000 coins, he's not the most expensive player we've seen. Uh, and I think he's... I think he's good value for what you're for what you're getting. I think he's good value. You could play him at many different positions. Like I said, put him back to CM, put him at Cam, and you've got a really good boosted um, hour. So yeah, it's a nice card. I'm actually considering doing it. It does look very good. Um, so yeah, there's that. So I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. Today's episode is done. Of course, tomorrow I believe we got the Wolfsburg player, which is going to be a few players. Well, it could be a few players anyway. It could be a centre back. Uh, a vague horse could be, you know, a centre mid vague horse. It could be anything really in the way of vague horse. I do hope it's in Babu. I'd love to see another midfield in Babu. Give him, give him a really nice boost. Pacey midfielder, that kind of stuff. That'd be nice to see. It'd be, uh, you know, it'd be horrendous to come up against, but it'd be nice to see. So it's interesting to see what, uh, what happens tomorrow. But uh, either way, for today, do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content, please do hit that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.